Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a bit of a part two of the video that I uploaded last week. Last week I made a makeup tutorial on Catherine Deneuve's mid-60s look and I just first of all want to give like the biggest thanks to you guys for all the love on that video. I was a bit blown away by it. I don't really get that many views here on YouTube compared to my other, other socials but the comments that I do get are so incredibly, incredibly lovely and especially on last week's video it was very very heartwarming for me. Uh, so if you haven't checked that video out I will link it down below in the comments so you can watch it after this video or before it or not at all it's really all up to you. If you follow me on TikTok you might be familiar with my series called Outfits Inspired by Icons and I really wanted to also bring that to YouTube but then make it a bit bigger so I will take any icon from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, maybe 80s, I don't really know, maybe other decades too, and create, instead of just one look, create five looks inspired by that. So this is the first one of those videos. I will obviously still upload a video to TikTok, but I'm just trying to really focus a bit more on YouTube right now. So in this video, I recreated five of my favorites Outfits by Catherine Deneuve. I'm very, very happy with how this video turned out. So I hope you enjoy watching. So for the first look, I recreated this outfit. Now, I don't know where exactly this photo is from. It probably is from one of her movies. I don't think I've seen it or I just forgot about it because I don't remember what kind of shoes she's wearing. And as you can see, you can't really see on the photo either. So I just sort of saw what looked best to myself. Um, I started this look off with this amazing vintage 60s dress from Paris. Um, it's in this beautiful burgundy color. I know her dress was more red, but I think this really matches great as well. Then I put like a beautiful cream turtleneck underneath. And oh my god, look at these buttons. They are so stunning. Like I love these little black buttons with the gold around it. So cute. And I added this beautiful sort of off-white tights, which almost perfectly match to the turtleneck and then I really wanted to wear these mod shoes and in my head they were the same color as the dress but they definitely were not so now I'm just deciding which shoes I'm going for is it the black ones or the black and white ones I really didn't know I really couldn't decide uh, but I ended up going with the black ones and then I added this beautiful bag, which I got from Rouge Paris. I know that she was wearing a white bag, but this matches the look super well too, I think. So that concludes the first outfit. So this is the inspiration for the second look. And then I also took inspiration from this picture. I sort of combined these two outfits together. First I recreated this one and then I added the trench coat, you will see. So I'm starting off with this beautiful midi skirt by Lily Silk. It is so beautiful and flowy. Look at it. Ah! Then I added this amazing H&M top from many, many years ago. And it looks so similar to the one that Catherine was wearing. I put that like in the skirt. Uh, then I realized that mm, the skirt was really way too big. And I also saw that she was wearing a belt in the photo. I don't have a black belt, so I put on this snakeskin belt. But I... I did not really like it. And of course, Black Mary Janes. Look at this at these details of this shirt. I removed the belt, as you can see. I really didn't think it went with the look so well. And this concludes the look. It's super, super classy and timeless. I love it. Then I added the trench coat, as I said before. This is so easy. Like it's like just add the trench coat and it just transforms the entire outfit. So classy, so timeless. Again, this would look so good today as well. Then for the third look, I also combined two looks. First of all, this one, and then I added a coat to create this one. So I'm starting this look off with this very beautiful white mini dress, and it has the most beautiful flower detail right above here. I have these amazing shoes. She was wearing Pretty much the exact same ones, but hers were like completely white. I think this will do. I think they are very similar to hers. And this is just such a simple look, but still you look so put together. I love that. Oh, so cute. Here you can see the flower detail a little bit better. And then I added my beautiful pink coat. And I was so shocked because the length of the coat was the exact same length of the dress. 
It's so cute. When I'm watching it back now, I'm like, hmm, probably should have worn pink shoes because now with the coat it would look so good. But those black and white shoes look so similar to hers. Anyways, this concludes look number three. So the third look is inspired by this amazing outfit. This is my absolute, absolute, absolute favorite Catherine Deneuve look of all time. It's from the movie Manon 70 or Manon 70, whatever you like. And like, this is one of the... F I think this is like the first outfit you see her wear in the movie and you're just like, oh! Anyways, I start this look off with my hippie shake mini skirt, very basic. Then a white turtleneck, which I was wearing before. This is just a very, very simple base, but we're gonna add the coat later on, so it's fine. Then I'm, of course, adding these beautiful, beautiful suede brown vintage boots. They're actually from the 90s, but they're like, like 90s to 60s, 90s to 70s. The coat, this is a vintage coat from the 70s, and like, oh my god, and this is one of my favorite coats I've ever bought. Also, like, probably the first vintage coat that I've ever got. Of course, I need to add big sunnies. And this concludes the look. I'm so obsessed with it. I couldn't stop staring at myself. That's how much I love this look. <laughs> it looks really, really, really cool. Then for the last outfit, I was so inspired by this photo, which is actually from the 70s. All the looks that I recreated before this were all from the 60s. This is from the 70s. A little different to what she wore in the 60s, but I love this outfit so much. I started this look off with this beautiful skirt from Tree of Life. It is so beautiful, flowy, and it moves so beautifully. Then I paired it with this orange turtleneck. Uh, as you can see, the skirt is a little bit too big, <laughs> but I made it work. I can also always wear it as a dress, I guess. Uh, yeah, well, at least it stays on my hips, so that's good. Then I paired it with this beautiful vintage 70s denim vest. I was very shocked at how beautiful this all looked together because I didn't really think it would look as good as it did. Uh, I didn't really like the brown shoes, so I switched them for these beautiful blue suede shoes. Anyways, this concludes the fifth and final look. So that concludes this video. I really, really loved filming this type of videos. It's kind of what I always do on my TikTok, but then a bit more in-depth on here. I really, really enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below which icons you want to see me recreate outfits or looks by next. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting my YouTube channel. I love you so, so much and I will see you very, very soon. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>